it's Melanie happy Monday welcome back I hope your week is off to a fantastic start so I decided that today I wanted to share another lifestyle favorites video um, I really enjoy doing this particular video because as much as I love talking about home fragrance and um, you know beauty stuff like skincare and makeup um, there's also a lot of other like really kind of random things that I fall in love with periodically and um, these are all things that are either very delicious there's food items in here there are things that are very useful there are handy things there are things that comfort me <laughs> things that help me when I'm stressed out, all of that fun jazz. So yeah, this this particular video has no skincare in it. There is not a candle to be seen, but I hope you guys will stick around anyway because I think that, you know, there's other things in life to uh, appreciate and fall in love with as well. So if there are things that I can link down below, I will certainly do that for you. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into it. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update because I periodically get questions on um, this pillow and if I'm still using it. And fun fact, I absolutely am because, well, I have a pillowcase on. It's on my bed. I use this pillow every single night. What pillow is it? It's the Sleep and Glow. I have been using this pillow for a couple of years now. And um, I do put like our like bedding on top of the pillow um this comes with its own um case like there's you know like there's a zippered case for it you don't need an additional pillowcase for this but i find that it's much easier for me to just take off um like a regular pillowcase than this one so i do wash this particular pillowcase uh, a couple times a month but um putting the other pillowcase on top of it sort of saves me from having to do it weekly if that makes sense anyway let's go back to the pillow so this is the original sleep and glow pillow and i think you can kind of tell that there's like these cutouts over here um so this this pillow taught me to go from being a 100 percent full-time stomach sleeper to a 50 50 back and side sleeper I don't sleep on my stomach anymore and that's freaking amazing and this pillow is what trained me to do that there's this really nice dip in the middle here which is fantastic when i am sleeping on my back but the best part is um is that these cutouts here so when you lay on your side like do you see how my like face isn't smushed like with a normal pillow like your face gets like smushed into the pillow like this and that can lead to lines on your face in the morning that can lead to some premature wrinkling um so this is this is like a wonderful beauty pillow if you will but i think the main thing that i appreciate about this thing is that i am no longer sleeping on my stomach because of it and that means far less back pain for me i'm talking like a whole lot less back pain so I am thankful for this pillow for that and yes even after like several years I'm I'm still using it it's amazing sleep and glow is actually having their anniversary this month and so um, I do have a coupon code for this um, the discount code used to be 10% but from today until I believe October 10th you can get 15% off if you want to try this Sleep and Glow pillow. Um, I will put the uh, discount code in the description box below this video. So um, if you are interested in investing in something like this, uh, make sure that you um, get a discount if you can. So also, I got their um, I got their weighted blanket. Oh, it's it's really heavy. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about weighted blankets because I really, in the past, I did not find them to be something that I was interested in at all. Like, I just didn't understand the concept and I thought that I would feel really claustrophobic. But you know what? When I got this thing, I was having kind of a rough day and I took it out of the packaging, I went and laid down on the couch and I put this over me and I just felt so secure, so um, like just comforted by it for some reason. 
it almost feels like you are getting a hug when you have this on you also in the morning when i've been drinking my coffee um i sit in the front fancy lady living room and i've been draping this like over my shoulders and just like we face east and so i get to watch the sun come up and have my coffee. it's really nice it's lovely it is the way that i really prefer to start my day because <laughs> it's a lot less hectic than you know the usual like running around so but this has glass beads in it and this blanket weighs 15 pounds this is a very heavy blanket but it doesn't feel like you are being crushed obviously the weight is like distributed across your body um i can't even really like hold this up well because it's a really large weighted blanket um and oh you guys just the the way that this feels when you're having a rough time is absolutely fantastic and i will never not have a weighted blanket in fact i love this thing so much that i'm thinking about getting these as like christmas gifts for a couple of family members um i think for sure i'm gonna get something like this for my mom because i think that she would really enjoy this um so yeah but and this is also from sleep and glow by the way so um you can use the 15 percent off discount code on this as well but oh if you've never tried a weighted blanket you have to and this one like i said weighs 15 pounds she she's a hefty blankie but it's fabulous i just cannot recommend that enough so um again you can use the discount code i'll put the link on where to shop with uh sleep and glow in the description box all right let's talk let's talk kids stuff for a second you know what this is this is a doorbell do you know why i got this <laughs> Because I got tired of screaming up the stairs for Stella to come down to do homework, to have dinner, to clean her crap off my kitchen table. <laughs> her bedroom is um, one of the furthest rooms from the stairs. Um, actually, this bedroom is the, the furthest and Stella's is right behind this. Um, so it's really hard for her to hear. She always has her door closed. So it's really hard for her to hear me yelling up the stairs. And I just got tired of it. And I was on, I think it was either TikTok or Instagram one day, and I saw these parents who had little like doorbells that they used for their kids. <laughs> this so this is genius. It's it's wireless. Like um, so I I bought two. I got these off of Amazon. I just bought these off of Amazon. Um, I did label them because one is for the cave. Um which is another room in the upstairs that Stella uh, hangs out in. It's like a TV room that we have upstairs. So there's one for the cave where she frequently is, usually with her headphones in. So, um, and I got one for her bedroom. So I labeled them. I keep these downstairs in the kitchen so that when I need her, I just go ding dong. Um, let me not ring the one here. This is, let me see. No, it's not plugged in, so you're not gonna be able to hear it, but you just press the button and, um, this you plug into an outlet in the room where you want the chimes to ding dong i guess um by the way you can pick different like ding dongs <laughs> stella and i had fun kind of going through and picking out the perfect one and you can adjust the noise level as well and then you just plug this in and whenever you need your kid instead sorry i just got a hair in my eye ow stabby stab <laughs> where is it where's that hair it's like stabbing me right in the center of my eye Ugh. anyway you just ring this and i i don't yell for stella when i need her i just go ding dong and then she, <laughs> she pops her head out the door and she's like what <laughs> because she's a preteen this is genius you guys if you don't want to yell for your kids heck if you if you live in an apartment or a house that doesn't have a doorbell and you want a doorbell just use this. You can attach this to the outside of your house. Um, this comes, this portion here comes with a battery. So you just replace the batteries when you need to, but you can get like that, um, that Velcro 3M stuff. And then you can put this outside your front door and then have a doorbell if you don't already have one. But I think this is genius for parents that are just tired of screaming for their kids because kids don't listen, right? Am I right? Mine doesn't. <laughs> She's a very good girl. But she's also very sassy and um you know i'm pretty sure sometimes she has ignored me when i've yelled for her but this makes it really hard for her to ignore me because i just keep going ding dong ding dong ding dong 
so eventually she has to give in. Anyway, that's genius. I will link the one that I have here in the description box. Again, I just got it off of Amazon. This is one of the ones that had the furthest reach. So make sure when you're looking at the, the like portable doorbells, I don't even remember what this is called, but when you're looking for this particular item, um, take a look at what the range is, like how far, you know, this can be away from this in order for it to still work. This has, this one right here from TechNet um, had one of the longest ranges. So um, I just figured, you know, the, the better the range, the more likely she is to not be able to ignore the ding dong. Um, all right, what should we do next? Should we, let's, let's do some food stuff. You guys, it's back. Uh, this was featured in a Lifestyle Favorites last fall. It's from Trader Joe's. It's their Trader Joe's Rustic Apple Tart. Just trust me, go and get it and just stock up so that you don't run out. I was recently at Trader Joe's this past week and I stocked up on four of these and um, I will go back and I will get more. I wish I had a chest freezer that I could just fill with this apple tart. It's so delicious. I know that I could make my own apple tart, but am I going to do that? No, no I'm not. So um, I will buy it from Trader Joe's. This is delicious. It has the most like amazing apple filling and then it's topped with like slivered almonds and the crust is just, it's like, it's kind of thick and like not doughy as in like not done, but like, you know, like you have like a thick doughy crust sometimes. I love that. That's my favorite. And that's what you get in this apple tart. <laughs> Sorry. I know like I'm talking very passionately about it, but it is so delicious. Like I cannot tell you how good this thing is. Um, even if you make your own apple tarts, I think it's worth picking up this one and trying it out. It's so good. And I think th these are like, what, $4.99, $5.99, something like that. A super easy, like quick dessert that you don't have to think about. Plus it looks kind of rustic. So if you want to pass it off as your own, you can do that. If you're, if your friends that you're going to visit don't also shop, shop at Trader Joe's and then ask you like, isn't that a Trader Joe's tart? Okay, I have a new favorite yogurt. Now, this one's empty. Um, I love these jars. These are little clay, clay pottery jars that um, are filled with yogurt. The name of the yogurt brand is La Fermier. Um, I recently found this at Fred Meyer, and oh man, is this a delicious, this is such a good yogurt, very rich, very creamy. Um, Probably not the most healthy yogurt. I don't think that it has like the highest protein content, but I still like eating yogurt no matter what. So, and this is the richest, creamiest, most delicious, not overly sweet yogurt that I've ever tried. My two favorite flavors are their vanilla bean and their lemon one. Oh, so good. Also, you know what I learned is um, they sell lids on Amazon for these little containers. So if you want to reuse, because they're they're like little clay pots, like you could drill a hole in the bottom of this and then use this as like a little planter. You can use this to, if you get a little lid, like put some spices in here, maybe use it as like a salt cellar. Um, and you can get both plastic as well as really nice like bamboo lids and they are specifically designed for this yogurt container. Um, I'm gonna order some and I'll let you guys uh, see what, I, I wanna find like the nicest wood lid that I can and um, I'll, I'll show it again in maybe my November Lifestyle Faves what it looks like with the little lid on but aren't these adorable? So cute, so cute. I mean, I, ju I just cannot with these. La Fermier, so French. <laughs> okay, and if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, please, uh, your muffs, because I'm gonna upset you here. Um, Bavarian meats. <laughs> okay, so the one thing that I don't think that America is really good at is smoked meats. I'm originally from Germany, and we know meats. <laughs> this, the German diet is meat. <laughs> anyway. These are from Costco, and I may have mentioned these before in the past in a video, and I, I just cannot get enough of them. Every time at Costco, I, I'm at Costco, I pick up a pack of these. These are the Bavarian Meats Little Landjägers. Um, these are hardwood smoked 
um, little sausages. Did you see? Little, little meaty sausages. Um, these are kind of a good like protein boost. These have nine grams of protein. There's no sugar in here. And these are actually made up in Kent, Washington. So that's cool, somewhat local. I'm in Oregon, but you know, Washington is right above me. So um, yeah, these are totally made in Kent. I did not notice that until I was bringing the bag up and I was like, hey, check it out. Anyway, these taste very, very similar to the little sausages that I remember eating as a child growing up in Germany. They are delicious, smoky, um, cured dried meats. I love me some dried meat, I really do. Um, okay, I, this is random and it's also dirty from my coffee this morning. You guys, I finally got rid of the Keurig um, for years and I'm talking probably the last 10 years, Craig and I have been using Keurig K-cups for our morning cups of coffee. We each drink about two cups every single morning and um, the waste, Honestly, the waste was really starting to get to me. I know, and I actually, I had, I had the little like refill thing where you can put that in your Keurig and like make your own, but I just, I could never get it to taste right. Um, I just, I didn't like it. And so I just kept buying the K-Cups at Costco. And the amount of plastic waste that we were producing from just our like, four cups of coffee between Craig and I every single morning was really starting to weigh heavy on me. And so I talked to Craig and I was like, hey, I, I think we just should switch over to like a coffee maker again. And he was totally on board with that. So of course I was like, well, I'm gonna be extra about it. So I was researching really nice coffee makers. And I also bought a grinder as well. Now I landed on the Swilling, Swilling brand. Um, and this is their, F, I think it's called the Affinity Coffee Maker. This is like, this makes the best coffee ever. It has like a blooming feature. Um, it's, it was really easy to set up. It's really easy to use and to program. Um, I will link the coffee maker down below. Um, it was a little bit more expensive than I think Craig was thinking we were gonna spend on a coffee maker. Um, but I think this coffee maker is going to last us for a very long time. It's incredibly well made. It gets amazing reviews. And I think if you're going to invest in a nice coffee maker, then, you know, invest in a nice coffee maker and just have that one forever. I also bought the matching, um, Affinity, I hope I'm saying it right, um, coffee grinder as well as a milk frother. I told you guys, like, I just went ham. I was like, if I'm going to have good coffee now, then I'm gonna have good coffee. And let me tell you something, it was not until I got this that I realized how awful the K-Cups actually tasted. Um, like I can taste the plastic in like a K-Cup coffee now. It's It sucks because for years I was like, oh, this is fine, it's fine, like it's quick, it's easy, like I don't have to think about it, you know, like I, I can just wake up and have my cup of coffee instantly. But does it take me that much longer to just brew a pot of coffee? No, no it doesn't. It, do, it hardly takes any extra time. And especially when I pre-program it the night before and then I walk down the stairs to a fresh pot of coffee that is literally just finishing up brewing as I'm waking up. It's genius and um, I am sorry to um, Mother Earth <laughs> for all of the K-cups that I you know, contributed to our landfills over the last decade. Um, I really recommend if you can at all make the switch from Keurig over to a regular pot of coffee. You don't have to like buy a super, you can buy a Mr. Coffee coffee pot, but I just, I think it's really worth it. Um, I also think about like maybe the health benefits of all of those years of like having that hot water go through that plastic. <laughs> Not gonna think about it too hard because you know what? Hindsight, right? Anyway, let's keep going. That's just a great coffee making machine. And if you are in the market for a new one, I cannot recommend this one enough. The coffee is delicious. It is so good. And the last thing I wanna share is, um, it's an apron, <laughs> but actually it's a smock. Um, so I'm gonna put this on. Um, I make a mess when I am cleaning or cooking. And I mean, I make a freaking mess. 
but I hate regular aprons because I don't think they provide enough coverage. So I was at Cost Plus World Market the other day and I was looking at their aprons and I saw that they had these smocks. They're called apron smocks. Well, just smocks, but, um, and you saw how I just put that over my head. I wanna show you guys the coverage of this thing. So I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna get off of my little exercise ball here. Look at the coverage. It covers my entire, I'm wearing a dress today, covers the entire dress, goes down nice and low, has pockets. I don't have to tie it. Like it just, it like crisscrosses in the back. Hold please, I'm gonna sit down. And um, this, this thing is perfect. I have literally like in the mornings when I'm getting ready to like clean the house and you know, do like all of that fun stuff for the day, I put this thing on. I always know where my phone is now because it's in my pocket. Um, I can listen to podcasts as I'm, you know, vacuuming, fluffing the couch pillows, all that fun jazz. Um, and when I am preparing food, I am no longer splattering food on my clothes. And the coverage of this is so much better than any other apron I've ever had. It, yeah, if you're like an apron person, you should check out these smocks because it's so nice. Like I just put it on. I don't have to like tie it or like untie it to get it off. I just literally slip it over my head. I leave it on the kitchen counter at the end of the day and the next morning I come down. Now I haven't washed this one, but I've the associate told me that they wash up really well. She has one too. These are 100% cotton and the they tell you to just machine wash cold um non chlorine bleach when needed tumble dry low warm iron if needed um but yeah the lady at the checkout who was telling me about her smock she has a red one <laughs> she was telling me that it just washes up beautifully she doesn't even pop it in the dryer she just puts it in the washing machine takes it out shakes it and then like hangs it on a hanger to dry and she says it's like good to go. You don't have to like iron it or anything like that. So I'm really excited about my smock apron. Wow, when you get into your 40s, like this is the crap that you get excited about, right? Aprons, send help. <laughs> oh man, if 20 year old me like knew what I was talking about today, I think that I would just be just very surprised at what excites me at this point in life, but that's okay. This is adulting, right? Anyway, if you are also an adult and you want to find any of these things, the food stuff, I think you're, you're gonna have to go visit Costco, you're gonna have to visit Trader Joe's, and um, I would not order my yogurt online, so find those things at your local grocery stores. <laughs> Um, but everything else here I think that I can link for you. So anyway, um, let me know what some of your current lifestyle favorites are in the comments right below this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Toodaloo.